Okay, is your cell phone running slow and acting up? Okay, it might need some help. Tech mom Melissa Swadowski has some tips on how to get it back in shape. And I'll tell you something, there's nothing more frustrating than because we're this instant gratification society now, when my phone is slow, yes. I want to throw you it. You see the little dial, just keep going. And it drives going. me yes. crazy. Okay, what do we do to speed things up? Okay, I want to start with simple basic things. Clean your phone. Take the case off, clean out the dust, clean it. It's just like the anything. The makeup and the yes. grime. I, and all I have stuck that in the, yeah. exactly. Clean that off because it will. Your mm -hmm. your phone's gonna know the difference. It's just like a computer. You gotta clean it out. Reboot. Reboot at least once a day. Just power. It's easy. Power start. Really, at refresh. least once a day. At okay. least once a day. Because as to be a little blunt. It gets constipated. Mm -hmm. It wants to be flushed out. So oh. that's the easiest way to do it okay. is you reboot it. Another good thing to do, clear the cache. Now, we were just discussing, I have an Android, so. And I have a, and an you iPhone. An iPhone. Now, for Android, you go to settings, and it's gonna have applications manager. And then it's gonna show you what you have as far as apps. You have to make sure you get to the running apps. And you need to say to it, how much space are you taking up on my phone? Oh, clear out the apps, you know, and that's... And that's it right there. Yeah. If you want to keep it, that's great. That's fine. Clear your cache. That's 3.5 megs that I just unleashed to allow my phone to run, to breathe easier. So, so you basically are shutting off the No, the you app. don't shut it off, no? but it's the same way when you browse on your, on your mm -hmm. computer and you have that history and you have all yeah. the cookies. Well, if you haven't been to a particular site in two weeks, you don't need to have that cache on there anymore. Yeah, you don't need clear to be the a history. Exactly. If okay. you were just looking up one, if you were just Googling directions to somewhere, just get rid of it. You don't need that anymore. Okay. And the reason I was asking yes. clear cache, which is C-A-C-H-E, because I don't yes, know that it says that on an iPhone. Okay. I think it might on be an some, iPhone. You're it right. Might be it does. iPhone is, you go to settings, you go to Safari or whatever your uh -huh. chosen browser is, you clear the history. And then you clear the cookies. Okay. Same thing. Okay. Same language. Uh, so you always have the task manager. Now there are apps that will do it for you, but again, <laughs> another app. <laughs> one more app to put on your phone. Exactly. Uh, another thing you just mentioned: kill the background apps. If you have a game on there that you thought would be really fun and you haven't played in six months, I just did that, or something that you've download <laughs> that you downloaded for the kids to keep them yes. busy for a minute. Yes, exactly. And they're really never going to use it again, at least on your phone. Exactly. Get rid of it. Well, and because I download a lot of apps to try and mm -hmm. test for people. And I don't need them anymore, especially yeah. the hookup apps. I don't need those anymore. <laughs> so, need those. Really? Well, let's yeah, talk about yeah, that. Yeah. That's far more interesting um, than cleaning up your phone. <laughs> you mentioned that. But on an iPhone, it's settings, general usage. Okay. So that one's pretty easy to find. Um, another thing is app updates. I know it sounds redundant to tell you keep up with your updates, but it matters. You were just talking about your OS. Mm -hmm. Keep up with your firmware. Keep up with your updates because yeah. that's what keeps your phone running at a pace. And if you're three updates behind what's current, yeah. same thing. If you're using a browser from 2005, it won't ever mm -hmm. clear enough for you. Um, and also decide if you want manual or automatic. A lot of my apps are said to go automatic updates and suddenly I'm downloading 10 updates all at once. Well, and, and it's like always right when you need to use yes. your phone. You're like, wait, wait, <laughs> stop, stop. And so you can't get on the internet. Yeah. You're exactly right. That's So you can go in there and tell it, don't do that. I, I'll tell you when I want to update. Yeah, or you I'm tell the boss of you, phone. I'll tell you when I'm ready for you to. <laughs> Some days it's hard to tell. Um, delete. Delete old text, old messages, videos. I know these things are precious to us, and uh, I know people love to carry around a thousand photos on their phone. Yeah. But that's going to slow you down. Yeah. And every every video, videos are the worst. Every right. video you have on there is just going to hog up that much more memory. So either download it onto a computer or a flash drive or something, or just delete it. And movies. We but we delete your text. Delete your your call log. Your missed calls. Your just get rid of all those. Just get rid of. Clean out your voicemail box. I get so much crap for that from everyone because I tend to let it my messages hard. build it up. It is, and it's, it's hard to keep mm -hmm. up sometimes. But you're right, and and we don't think that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Because we want to imagine there's a huge universe out there holding our stuff for us. But yeah. when there's 300 million of us holding it our stuff. It makes a difference. It does. I would also recommend, and this one is not everybody likes, turn off your location and your GPS services. Because mm -hmm. the, the effort that the phone is using to track where you are every single step you take is burning up the memory that you could be using for your apps, okay. for your phone calls, And you for really text. only need that if you're getting on social media and Correct. you want to tag your location right. or something, right? Or, you, or if, you're, if you're mapping. Now, mm -hmm. if you need directions to something, obviously. And that's the beauty of it, is you can turn it on case by case. You okay. don't have to have it the whole time. Okay. And the one other thing I would tell you is this summer, 
it's just like your puppies and your kids and everything else. Don't leave your phone in your car. I've done that before, and I get the the symbol that says it's the overheated. Heat warning. Yes. And you'll you'll destroy your battery. You'll get battery leakage. All of that is going to oh, no. hurt your phone. Um, okay. And you don't want to do that because you don't want to have to buy a new phone just no. for that yes. sake. So that is something you need to consider. And okay. if nothing else, at least turn off your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, and at least let it cool My down. My kids enough. taught me how to do that. Yeah, there you go, go to your kids. If you don't know how to do something, I promise you they do. <laughs> it's true. All right, Fair. Melissa, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Melissa's blog, by the way, is called Home on Deranged. I love that. <laughs> we'll be right back. That's like it is around here. Yeah. <laughs> More broadcast when we return. Dogs. Okay.